From then to now, the Tyler Davidson Fountain at Fountain Square has been a Queen City staple for 150 years. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo spent the day digging into the fountain's history. She joins us live right now from an anniversary celebration going on right now, in fact, at Fountain Square. Taylor. The Tyler Davidson Fountain was dedicated on October 6th back in 1871, and that's what everyone's celebrating out here right now at Fountain Square. We just heard from some speakers uh, just a little bit ago, but right now we've got some live music going. It is a celebration out here, and today I took a look back at some of the history of the fountain that is the heart of our city. Whenever we have time to celebrate things to uh, you know be pleased with our sports teams or or to mourn if there's something sad that's happened uh, that's where people come together fountain square is the place we gather as a community and the fountain has always been the centerpiece of that the fountain is really the symbol of that gathering space it's iconic it's something that everyone sees and recognizes and automatically associates that with uh, Cincinnati. On this day, back in 1871, somewhere around 10,000 people showed up for the unveiling and dedication of the Tyler Davidson Fountain. Henry Probosco and Tyler Davidson were partners in a hardware business in Cincinnati back in the 1840s and 50s. With people coming downstream on the Ohio River, needed stuff to build homes and that sort of thing. So they had a very thriving business. And uh, as uh, time went on, they wanted to do something to say thank you to the city. The fountain was a way to do just that, but their efforts were stalled by the Civil War. And then, unfortunately, just as the war was over, Tyler Davidson passed away unexpectedly. So uh, Henry went to Europe and hunted down some designs for a fountain. He met a sculptor in Munich, Germany. And he had a, a model of, uh, the, of what is our fountain today. The figure with outstretched arms and water flowing down. The genius of water um, gives us a sense of the role of the river in creating and sustaining uh, the city of Cincinnati. She's raining water down on several figures. One is a sailor, one is a farmer who needs water for his crops, uh, another is a mother who's washing her child. If you look closely, there's a plaque that reads to the people of Cincinnati. It's called the Tyler Davidson Fountain and it was in, in his memory, but they really wanted to dedicate it to the city that had done so much for them. Now the fountain certainly means so much to all the people of Cincinnati. I mean, we all have so many memories here and it's only fitting that the symbolism with the water and the fountain that it's a bit of a rainy day here in Cincinnati. But the good news is at least uh, the rain is holding off for us right now for the celebration. Reporting live from Fountain Square, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. All right, Taylor, I always love it on a hot summer day when you're down there and the mist is coming off of it. It's pretty that great. Feels so good.